Hey everyone, this is Minecraft Wizard, and this is episode 2 of our Carnival uh, series, and I have done a lot since I've, um, since our last video. So, today is Thursday, and it's going to be posted on Monday, but I'm just going to show you how, what, how much happened since Monday between Thursday. Here's our new entrance to the Carnival. You are going to spawn here, and then you see this giant castle theme thing you go into. Kind of reminds me of boomers. You go through here, and then there's gold. We have lamps. We have trees trying to make it look all nice. And here's the original entrance from on our first video. Buy your tickets. And our ticket thing is going to be redstone. So once you get your redstone, it's going to be like fifteen dollars a ticket. Go through the go through the Nether, and then here's our here's our cool area. Each booth represents food. Oh, and also this wasn't here before either. Forgot. Another thing. I just wanted to do a tunnel where we go to the like try and make it look creepy and also cool. I have nether portals in here with glowstone. The only thing I don't have in here would be mushrooms, lava, and school sand, but I didn't kinda think of a way to put it in there. So it's, I put this was all originally sand. I put it into dirt. And here on most carnivals is where they have like little lockers. So you you just actually just have to put like what chest you're on, bottom or top, put your name and then what number of chest. So we have a sign on each top on by each one in front. That's it. So yeah. And then I at night these lights glow go on and off. You see them going on and then they're going off. Now here we have a cake booth. There'll be cake in there soon. And then we have a mushroom uh soup booth. Mushroom soup, and then we have popcorn, which there's really no popcorn with Minecraft, but we have popcorn. Then we have bread. The hardest sculpture was the bread. I had to ask my friend Panda to do that for me. And then we have like a little air eating area with light. Same thing over there. And then we have a cookie booth. <gasps> Oop! So sorry about that lag. Then we have a cookie booth. And then a cotton candy booth. And my little home, um, I, got, I got this idea from a circus, like most people, they live in RVs, if you're like in a circus. Well, I tried to build a little tiny car. It really doesn't look like a car. My friend thought it looked like a bus. Well, but here it is. There's a little car, bed, and this leads down to my basement. Oh. Has all my storage items in here, and back here is my d furnaces. Uh, my that ah uh, oh where to go? Ah uh, well, a workbench is supposed to be right there. I I took it out, and here I remember a couple hours ago. Yeah, I put some stuff in there so I could cook smelt. Well, it's in there. Let's go back up. <clears throat> now I finally got some rides in my carnival, so let's go over there and look at them. And I oh, we're not supposed to look at those. <laughs> so jump, jump. I have two fountains in the middle because I wanted that here. See this little room? It's where a little switch controls that door. So, there's going to be an iron door here. And it's it's going to have no switch. Only the people who can build here can have a switch. And then this place, they open the door. And if someone wants to go in, if they have their ticket, they show them. And, well, it's closed right now. Then they open it for them. And then they close it. But now they're going to have it open. Since they're going back and forth. Then we go through the fun part. Fun. Go through here. There's going to be more stuff over here. This is just, just I'm just, I'm working on the fun house right now, and yes I got this from I has Cupquake, her clown, but it's it's gonna be different a little bit inside. Well that's the fun house. We're gonna walk in, and right now it's just working on this recently. And I, then I decided oh I should start making a video because I want to do too much, so I think I did a lot. <laughs> Let's grab a cart. And here's my friend's Tomb of the Panda. I said, do you want to ride? And I'm like, Co roller coaster? And he said, yeah. 
So I'm like Tomb of the Panda. So it's a pyramid. It's supposed to be. Why are there torches here? It's supposed to be dark. There, they're gone. Oh, that's where the workbench workbench went. So it's supposed to be dark. It looks really better at night. So let's just go in it right now. Yeah, my cards tend to glitch on multiplayer for some reason. Right now we're going around the pyramid. Then we just went back inside to the dark. And then we go, whoa, that's actually. You have to get speed to get all the way up there. Oh. I don't get, how can you get hurt up there? Nothing even, ha nothing happened. And of course it glitches. But that was Tomb of the Pandas. I need to put the sign of what this name of the ride is. And then we'll go over here. It's impossible to solve because he blocked off the exit. And you, and you can't see in this texture pack. It's, you can't see it all, so I'm not going to do this maze. I'll ask my friend to fix it later. But my next ride is going to be the Urban Legend. He, he um, He's the reason, Urban Legend, he's a mod. He's the reason why I was able to get here. So I thank him. His ride is going to be a roller coaster. And it's probably going to be over there. And I'll see you guys when it's nighttime, so I can show you what the, look, what the carnival looks like at night. So, peace. Wrong button. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back, and it's nighttime. That's what the carnival looks like at night. I need to hurry because it's going to turn day any soon. So, the lights blink on and off. Looks really cool. Oh, eggs. Oh, can't collect eggs. Uh, I need those eggs. Uh, let's get rid of these torches. I'm gonna collect the egg. Oh no, it's turning night day. Oh, if it turns day, this is gonna be the first part of it. So, but the carnival looks like at night. Let's go over here. See what the pyramid looks like. Looks really cool. It's just torches, and then in there. And let's ride. Let's go on the ride. So, put this on. It's going F5 F5 mode because it looks much better. You actually see what the ride looks like. So, right there. It will push me back into first person mode. Once we get crammed into the bottom. So, yeah. So, there. So, this is what the ride looks like at night. Carnival looks really cool at night also. And I get hurt. For some reason. And then there's the end of the ride. And don't remember to rate. I mean, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. So, peace.